They're very small. One day, when giant baby bear was playing in the woods, he found a very small something. He picked up the very small something in his paws and gave it a good sniff. You are a very small something, said giant baby bear. I'm lost, cried the very small. I want my mommy. I don't know where your mommy is, said giant baby bear, but you can share my mommy if you like. And he took the very small home to his mommy. She gave a great big grin, showing all her great big teeth. What is you found? asked giant mommy bear. I want my daddy, said the very small. I don't know where your daddy is said giant baby bear, but you can share my daddy if you like. And giant baby bear took the very small from his mommy's very large paws and placed him in his daddy's even larger paws. What is you found? asked daddy bear. I want to go home, said the very small. I don't know where your home is, said giant baby bear, but you can share my home if you like. And giant baby bear showed the very small all around his home. He showed his the sleeping corner, and the eating corner, and the scratching corner, and the thinking corner. Last of all, he showed him toys in the playing corner. There you are. Let's play. I want my dinner, said the very small. I don't know what you were going to have for your dinner, said giant baby bear, but you can share my dinner if you like. And giant baby bear placed the very small next to his plate, and the very small ate one whole pea and five whole crumbs of bread and drank one whole spoonful of milk. Then he felt very tired. I want my bed, said the very small. I want my bed too said giant baby, but first we have to take a bath. And giant baby bear had a splashing bath in the great big tub, while the very small had a floating bath in the great big soap dish. Then giant baby bear put the very small next to him on his pillow and fell asleep. But the very small didn't fall asleep. Giant baby bear was snoring so loudly that he couldn't. So he pinched giant baby bear's nose to try to stop his snoring, but to giant baby bear it felt very much like a tickle, and suddenly he went up blowing the very small right out of the cave and across the yard and over the treetops until he landed in the very same part of the woods where he had gotten lost in the first place. And there, waiting for him, were the very small's very own mommy and daddy. They were so pleased to see him. They took him home and tucked him up in his very own bed with his very own bear, who suddenly seemed very small. The end.